Well, good day, folks. How's it going? I'm just over at the show lot today. I want to show you something awesome. So, right here behind me, back here, we have an EG4 solar heat pump slash air conditioner that Ryan and the guys from Canadian Off Grid put in for us. So, today's not as hot as some of the other days that we've had recently, but let me show you how good this thing works. Hang on. Okay, so here's the unit that we put in. This is a one ton unit. And we do have this grid tied. The cool thing about this heat pump is you can put solar panels on it. And we will do that eventually. We're gonna put like three 500 watt panels on the roof of this building. And that will run this without taking power at all from the grid. So it's got a computer in it that'll tell the actual pump itself to pull grid power or solar power depending on the solar energy that you're getting. So this is really cool technology. So come on here with me. It's a warm day, but not super hot today. But let me just show you what I'm showing for temperature in the truck here. So on the dash, we got 26 degrees. And then I have another thermometer inside the building. It's been stinking hot lately. Today's actually a nice break from that. We got a bunch of rain last night. But in here, it's a little bit warmer, of course. We don't have the heat pump on right now. It's quite a bit warmer in here, actually. So right now we're at 31.5 degrees Celsius, okay? So what we're gonna do is we'll grab the remote here for the heat pump. We're gonna come on over here, hit cool, set her down to as cold as it'll go, it'll set her down to 16, I think is the bottom. So you just saw the vent open up here. This does have like a, a delay and then it starts cranking out cold air. I can't believe how quiet this thing is. There it goes, it started now. So what I'll do now is I'll shut up and I'm just gonna put this over in front of the thermometer and my watch and show you how quickly this building will cool down. This is a 12 by 24 interior space. This is the office here at the show lot. We do have the regular Taiga package in this building. So R14 rock wool in the walls and the ceiling with R10 rigid foam in the floor. So right now we're at 31.4 and it's just coming on 12.56. So we've been running just about 10 minutes. It's five and a half degrees cooler in here already. <laughs> this thing is amazing to me. It's almost silent. Like that's all you hear on either heat or cool. And it's taken this 300 square feet down five and a half degrees in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put this back on there for another 10 and we'll see how she goes. But like, honestly, I'm not sure you can beat heat pump technology, especially the EG4 stuff, because you can hook this to solar on a day like today when we have quite a bit of UV, this thing would be running and using zero grid power whatsoever. Let's put her back on. <music> So after 20 minutes, we're down to 23.8. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take you outside and show you one of the ways that you can install. I'm gonna let this thing run for a half an hour and show how much temperature difference it makes for us. Whew. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. Ryan suggested that we mount the exterior unit on a couple of big patio stones because it is a fan that's spinning around in there. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it will vibrate a little bit 
if you were to leave it attached to the building. This is not something we would install at the factory and ship on the build. I don't think that's good for the unit. And Ryan agrees with me on that. So this is the kind of thing that you would invite Canadian Off-Grid to come and install at your place. But this thing just spinning away, doing its job as a pump. Very quiet, way quieter than some of the big air conditioning units that you see on the houses. There is a disconnect on the side of the building and then the, the lines go up through the wall to connect to the head on the inside. So really cool tech and like super, super efficient. I would imagine if we had this thing, we don't leave it on because we're not here every day, all day, every day anyways. But once the thermal mass within the building, oh, it's much cooler in here. Once the thermal mass within the building takes on the temperature that you have the desired setting for, that thing's gonna have to work way less too. So let's let it run for a full half an hour. We're now down to 23.7. I'm gonna shut up for a minute. Okay, so my super scientific study here got us down to 22.4. If memory serves, we were at 31.4 half an hour ago. So this little jobby, the EG4 solar heat pump and air conditioner brought the temperature down in this 300 square foot building by nine degrees Celsius in 30 minutes. That's pretty remarkable. So you can just imagine if this was left on how little it would have to work in order to make that happen. And again, once everything cools off in here, it's going to stay cooler and that will have to work even less. So I'm a big fan of this technology. This is in our office. I'd be happy to show it to you if you wanted to come pay us a visit. EG4 is installed, sold and serviced by Canadian Off-Grid here in Ontario, Canada. And we'd love to cool your space off for you too. So if you're buying a Highland Out building, we can talk about heat pumps with you. We can talk about uh, propane heaters. You can use a space heater too. But this thing's a heater and an air conditioning unit. So why not consider that? Pretty cool little test, eh? Cheers.